yet. Definitely time to completely just tear down the paint and start a new one. Uh, I would sit down, except if you saw the cat tail, I obviously have a cat in my. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, yes, I love my animals. I love fish, I love cats, I have dogs. <sighs> Sorry, Mama King. Today's video is about fish, not cats. Hey, guys. Welcome to Dunn's Little Hobbies. And in my other video, I told you guys how I was just getting bored with the look of the tank. And I really am. I'm just going to completely pretty much start over and to just start over again. I want to do something awesome, I want to do something cool, and I talked about all of that in my other video. Go ahead and check out that video. I will leave a link to it in the description below. As of today though, we are going to be unboxing supplies because obviously I need new supplies if I'm going to change this tank. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and look at some of the supplies. So not all of these supplies have gotten here yet. Um, I will be updating this video throughout the day as well as the week. Because um, a couple of my uh, things that I bought aren't actually going to show up until at the end of the week. Which kind of sucks for me because all it means is I can't start tearing down this tank yet. But I can go ahead and start this video. So, the first thing oh, that I needed to get is I needed to change the aquarium soil. I want to go with uh, some really cool plants, harpy plants that I hopefully am going to get to grow all over the tank. But they need a better soil than just sand. I'm going to just completely change this aquarium. As of the sand, you know I have sand in this tank, and it's it's really dirty sand, but I might be able to use it because, number one, it has a lot of that bacteria that I want to keep in this aquarium for the fish, so I might just mix it in with this, mostly this, just a little bit of sand, and it might actually help me uh, keep my smaller plants that have smaller roots stuff actually into the, the dirt, the ground. So hopefully that helps. I bought 17 pounds of this plus another 4.4 pound bag. So I really have about I really have about 22 pounds, 22 pounds, 22 pounds of this stuff. Plus I'm thinking about maybe using maybe 5 pounds of the sand that's still in this tank just to keep the bacteria alive and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not 100% sold on that. Let's go ahead and just... There's my fingers. Let's go ahead and just show you exactly why I've got. Uh, you can kind of see the bag already, but let's go ahead. and show you exactly what I got. Now, I am not doing shrimp, and that sand is not good for shrimp, so it's fine if I use a little bit of it. I am not going to be doing shrimp, but this, I hear, is like the best substrate for fancy aquariums, plus I may, I am obviously a huge removal fan, I got a removal tank back there. I wanted to really try this substrate. Blue Volstrom! I got Blue Volstrom! Of course, I'm not being paid for the sponsor by anybody. I just, I just wanted to try out this substrate. I think it's going to be a good substrate to use. Um, let me know if you have any opinions on Blue Volstrom. It is a little bit expensive. Um, it's not the worst price so uh that aqua decor soil that everyone tends to love is like super super priced this one's really not that bad so i thought 
why not just go with this? I was going to go with the Alchemy Day 4, and some of you guys might might say that I should have gone with the ABA soil, but um, I don't know. I think this is going to be just fun. Okay, and then I got some new rocks. Like I said, I'm completely getting tired of the dragon stone in here. I really, really wanted to get a brand new rock, a brand new style of aquarium, something that's going to really pop. Like this box right here. I have not even looked at this rock yet. I got, hold on. Let's look at the rocks together. Oh boy! Oh boy! There, I got, I got tape on this box. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! There, you can see the rock. Let's go ahead and pull this bag out. Oh my God! I got some big. Is too unhappy about that. So, you know what? This is 17 pounds of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna do what I can do with it, but I was hoping for uh, some smaller pieces of rock as well. I might have to buy another pack of rock. Which, if I do, no big deal. But, I got some serious stone. Oh boy, let's go ahead and kind of open up this bag. Okay. Yeah, I guess I got a couple good pieces of, of this stuff. I like this big one though. Check that out. Check that out. So, it's a little dirty, a little dusty. We'll clean it up and take a really good look at it, but check that out. That is 100% completely different than anything that I've had in this tank. Alright, that is not all I got though. Let's go ahead and check out the other stuff. Okay, so this part of the video was obviously filmed um, the next day. So what did I get? I got... The Sun Sun filter. So, okay, I know, I know, I don't know if I cut it out or what, but I actually was going to get a Fuvel, probably one of the Fuvel uh, uh, FX series, I think they're called, or just a small Fuvel cancer filter is what I was going to buy. I was just going to get it off Amazon. And you know what? The filter that I 100% was going to get. Uh, this one was on sale! This one does the exact amount of water as the other one does, except it was half off. And guess what? Not only was that one half off, but the bigger version was half off. So guess what? I actually ended up getting a bigger filter for less money. So, I guess I cheaped out and got a Samsung filter. This is the Samsung Filter 302, and I know what you're saying. Aren't you going to unbox it? Well, guess what? I'll show you guys a clip of it right now. It's already running on my aquarium. I absolutely love having a cancer filter. This is my first cancer filter ever, and I think it works really excellent. It's really clean my aquarium, especially since it's a bigger filter than what I actually need. So... I'm actually quite happy with my purchase, but I went to go film it, and I filmed it on my other camera, not on this camera, I filmed it on my other camera, and I forgot to turn on the camera. Yeah. Now, I wasn't I wasn't ever going to film, you know, putting on the tank or anything like that, because, my god, it's, it's a canister filter. It's not insane, you know? You can look up a million other videos to show you how to put the put one together, but it's really, really simple, really, really easy. I will show you the box though. On the side of the box, you get shown everything that comes in with it. You get, of course, the inlet, um, 
which would be this part right here. You get, of course, the outlet down here. You get three media trays with the 302. You get, of course, the top tray, the, uh, the lid tray, whatever you want to call it. Two hoses, obviously. The pump, the, the can itself, the stuff that holds the media, the bucket, I guess you could call it. The pump, and of course, the valve. Now, I really, really, and this is why I was going to buy the FX, because it has a valve where you can close it and it completely just closes the water so you don't have to drain your lines, which your tubing right here, you don't have to drain your tubing. And I really, really like that. That means when you go to take it off, you're not going to have water splash everywhere. I really, really like that. And I had no idea that Sun Sun had the exact same, well, similar, almost the exact same system on their filter, too. So it comes with a valve as well, and I really, really like that about it. So, really, I got everything I wanted, and for a little less, less money. I know it's not a free roll, I know free roll is the better product, but it works. It works. With that said, I would probably, if I ever bought another filter, if I ever really needed another cancer filter, I would probably go for a Google FX. What, what number would I get? Depending on the size of my tank, obviously. But uh, that that is my Samsung filter. I can't really call it an unboxing, can I? What's this thing behind me? Here. Wow, this is bigger than I thought. I actually kind of like that. It's going to cover the whole, the whole tank with that. So I got this. This is really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make a cave using this as kind of a support and putting the rocks, you know, just like over it, like gonna be something like that. So you're not gonna see e that, you're just gonna see the rock. It's gonna be this huge cave thing. And actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, I think as, as soon as I get some more rock, it's going to look absolutely awesome. And what this is, I'll just get it open, is it's a Lazy Susan. It's actually a Lazy Susan, um, shelf. It's a Lazy Susan shelf. And I'm going to put soil up here and grow plants at the top. Nice rock wall. Nice rock wall right here. It's gonna be, uh, pretty cool. Plus it has, like, uh, these little holes back here and everything, which will be perfect for, like, um, when I have, like, the wires and... Uh, and the uh, here and you know it's, I think it's gonna be really really cool. I like the size of it. It's a good size. Definitely going to be able to do something really amazing in my next video. I'm probably gonna be messing around with that in the walks. Let's see what else do I have here. I am going to buy a brand new filter and I saw these little, uh, little bricks, little, little culture bacteria bricks. And I thought, you know what? I kind of wanted to try them. Because I see a lot of people use those other, um, bigger, heavier bricks. And I'm like, I just have a small tank and a 30 gallon aquarium. I don't need a gigantic brick. But then I saw they had these smaller bricks, and I'm like, alright, alright, I'll try these smaller bricks. Again, this isn't, um, uh, it's called 3D Nano Culture Brick from Green Winter Aquariums. Looks like it comes from China. The box, are these, are these Japanese or are these Chinese? No, I'm not sure. But, they're bacteria blocks. And the water goes right through them, and I thought they would be great just to try. 
and they only come two in the pack. They're actually kind of expensive, but apparently they have the capability of ha handling one of these have, has the capability of handling a 30 gallon of Parham alone, and I bought four of them. One of which I will be sticking in the 9 gallon aquarium, and the other ones I'm going to stick in my new filter when I get back. Thank you guys for watching, I got a bunch of crazy cool stuff here, and I plan to do a whole bunch of crazy cool videos with them. Subscribe for more, especially if you want to see what plants I have, uh, I'll do a separate video for unboxing my plants and stuff like that. It's gonna be really awesome. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think so far. Do you think my sort of idea is going on? Especially this. Like, I think using this as a support for the rocks is going to make it a whole lot more easier to aquascape as well as it's going to give a large amount of space for fish to swim in the caves and stuff like that. So, I think that is a fantastic idea. I'm glad I had that idea. Let me know if you've tried anything like that in the uh, comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I am out. Bye.